Welcome to ICCG's Close-Up, sponsored by Round World Solutions, where Fortune 1000 CXOs share their enterprise strategies for competing and winning in the global economy. Our wide-ranging topics include big data, governance, supply chain analytics, enterprise mobility, and portfolio management. The goal of our interviews is to understand the CXO's area of focus, the challenges associated with that area, and their plans for confronting those challenges. The benefit to our participants is the creation of a virtual CXO knowledge pool, so CXOs can learn from each other and not have to reinvent the wheel. I'm your host, Ellis Booker. Welcome to ICCG's Close-Up, sponsored by Round World Solutions. I'm your host, Ellis Booker. Today, we're delighted to have Rick Hambrick of Lightus Health with us today. Rick is the CIO over there. Hello, Rick. Good morning, Ellis. How are you? Great, great. Um, I want to ask first about um, Lightus's uh, data projects, particularly anything you're doing in the big data arena. Why don't you tell us about some initiatives? Yeah, great. Um, we're currently uh, taking on a few initiatives. Uh, we, wouldn't, we wouldn't classify them necessarily as big data. Our data is sort of sub-terabyte. But we are taking on a lot of data science type initiatives, um, certainly because of uh, the way our market's working right now. Uh, we're challenged with coming up with new and innovative ways to use information that we have, that we have stored over time, uh, in order to tell a better story. So we're, we're doing a lot around data science, uh, a lot around the predictive modeling, um, we're, we started that program, but we're, we're going to see it through for the rest of this year. It's going to be a big part of our internal IS uh, value proposition. One of the things you mentioned to us um, a couple of days ago was how you're attempting to monetize uh, these data investments. Can you speak to that? Right. I mean, we, we're very similar to most uh, uh, medium and large size IS departments where we're kind of a, a revenue black hole. Uh, a lot of a lot of funds go in in terms of annual budgeting, um, and in our case, we need to start thinking about how we turn into a revenue center as opposed to just a, a black hole for for expenditures. So we're again looking at how to monetize some of the uh, in, uh, intellectual property that we that we have inside of IS. Some of that is certainly going to be around the mobility development um, for customer um, applications, customer portals. Um, and then a large part of that is, we hope, is going to be around the the data science piece, around the data analytics piece. Um, we don't know what that strategy is going to be yet. We're still working it out, but it's certainly on the books in terms of what what, what our major initiatives are going to be this year and how we're going to turn IS into a revenue generation model. Terrific. Uh, one question I always wonder about in terms of. Uh, um, data projects is, is the function centralized or have you distributed sort of uh, data analytics and analysis throughout the organization at the uh, line of business? Right, well, yeah, single data storage is, 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 is a great idea. It's very difficult to achieve. Um, most companies, whether you try to do ERP to handle that or, or other methods, you, you inv inevitably end up with disparate systems. And that's almost always, that's very common the case. So what you first have to do is determine, you know, what that data storage profile looks like. Are they all over the place, as you say? Um, are they internally contained? Um, all of our data is internally contained, although it is on disparate systems that don't necessarily have a communications mechanism between them. Um, so we use other types of techniques to, to try to help solve those problems. And that is a great segue to um, a next question from uh, another person on the call. Steve uh, Winstead, a uh, Round World Solutions partner, is with me, uh, who's going to ask you something about the governance of all that data. Uh, take it away, Steve. 
Uh, yes, Rick. Uh, quick question around uh, the data governance is uh, how are you seeing data quality issues impact your overall data governance, governance strategy? Yeah, Steve, I think that's a, that's a huge uh, and impactful part of, of, our, of our strategy and certainly would be with any monetization strategy. Um, and <clears throat> it's, it's, it's a problem that we have to partner with the business on. Because we, it's not a technical, completely 100% technical issue. We can't uh, apply technology to that problem completely. So we have to partner with our with our business customers internally and have them help us develop processes and procedures that will improve data quality. Um, we have to do that also in concert with their own schedules. So as again, it's it's a it's an IS almost led type function, and I see we're trying to evangelize that that's not necessarily the case. Really, that data quality is an organizational priority, and not an IS one, and and that's that part of the the conversation is happening, and and we need to have that. Um, the other thing that we're doing is, from a technology perspective, implementing a master data management program to try to solve some of that disparate uh, systems issue, where we have data in, in systems that don't talk to each other. So we're doing an MDM programs to 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 put the technology forward to help solve those problems, but. But the complete answer to your question, Steve, is that it is an issue. It's always going to be an issue, and it needs to be addressed as a as a as an organizational priority, and not necessarily just an IS one. Thanks. Uh, what are a couple of other uh, key priorities you've got upcoming for the the next twelve uh, months? Well, for this year, really, because our market space is, is what it is, and and, and we're constant, we're in the state of making budget adjustments because of that, because of our space. Um, we're looking at trying to be more creative in IS about about uh, getting the getting our organization to have more of a foothold in the marketplace. So an example of that is we call ourselves business-led IT, which means we're not just a support organization where we take uh, help desk calls and so forth. We do those things obviously. We do KLO keep the lights on, but we are trying to make ourselves more part of the discussion in terms of the business partnership and saying, look. You can do these three things right here, and maybe increase our increase our foothold in these particular parts of the market. So, our a large part of our objectives, both technically and non-technically, this year, uh, are around providing some value back to our to our business leadership, so that we can increase our overall bottom line in the organization. So, and, and a lot of that conversation, I'm sure you want to drive around business benefit discussions. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Rick. Thank you, Z. It's uh, excellent answers, Rick. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, and thanks, everybody, for watching ICCG's Close Up, sponsored by Round World Solutions. If you'd like to see more of our interviews um, or join the discussion or participate as a panelist, uh, please visit us on the website, ICCGUSA.com. Thanks for watching. I'm Scott Cunningham, Senior Director, Solutions and Delivery for Round World Solutions the experts in integrated governance with project execution. Our unique 360-degree view enables us to give CXOs a comprehensive view of where they are today, where they would like to be, and delivers a powerful change management structure to ensure they accomplish their goals. ICCG Close-Up is an interview panel where CXOs share their views on big data, governance, and their most pressing issues. At the conclusion of the interviews, we will be compiling the results into an industry and issue-specific report to share with all of the interviewees, emphasizing common interests and future plans associated with those interests across industries. The benefits to our participating CXOs are the creation of a virtual CXO interactive knowledge base, highly scaled shared resources, and the ability to learn from each other without having to reinvent the wheel. Thank you for watching ICCG's Close Up, sponsored by Round World Solutions. For more information about our CXO interview panels or to join the conversation, please visit us at www.roundworldsolutions.com. Thank you.